hi guys welcome back to frm tutorial today we're going to be looking through past paper questions for 2016 paper one let's begin with number one the basic social unit in caribbean society is the a school b family c church d community which of these is the answer now remember that the social units of the society are the school, the family, and the church. These are the various social units responsible for socialization of children. But the basic social unit is B, the family. Item 2 to 3 refers to the following stages in the family life cycle. A, beginning, B, expanding, C, contracting, and D, acquainting. The an in answering items 2 to 3, each option may be used once, more than once, or not at all. Therefore, you're going to be using beginning, expanding, contracting, and acquainting to answer items 2 and 3. Here goes the question at number 2. At which stage is retirement most likely to occur? You're going to look back up at the options to decide which one of these are the answers. Is it beginning, expanding, contracting, or acquainting? Well, if your answer to number two is the contracting stage, well, you are correct. This is so because during the contracting stage of the family, the first child who would have reached adult would, would have left the home to start his or her own family or would have gone off to start university or college. The parents would have gotten older and so this stage of the family will continue until all of the children have left to start their own family or has gone off for university. It is during this time that the parents would have gotten older and would have retired and most times would have started getting grandchildren to take care of. For number three, we'd be taking our answers from the options given earlier. Which stage demands the greatest income? Of course, if you remember, the family life cycle begins with the beginning stage where they get acquainted with each other they get to know each other, they get married, they plan their families, they set their goals, and then the beginning stage ends when the first child is born. Now, when the first child is born, it now gives rise to a new stage, which is known as the expanding stage. So the family starts to get bigger. The family starts to expand. Now, during this time, the family will have all the children that they so desire based on the goals that they have set during the beginning stage of their family life cycle. The fact that they are having children and the family is getting bigger, it simply means therefore that the, all the basic needs of the family would have to be cared provided for, as well as the children will be going to school. So this is where the greatest demand will be on the income of the family. Hence, the answer for this would be B, the expanding stage. So if we recall, the question indicated that some of these answers here in item 2 to 3 would be used either once, more than once, or not at all. So you would not have used A, the beginning stage, and D, the acquainting stage. None of them were reused, therefore none of them were used more than once. And so we would have had number 2 to be C, contracting, and number 3 to be B, expanding. Number four, Mr. and Mrs. Jones have been married for five years and have a three-year-old daughter. They are now sharing a home with Mrs. Jones' parents. What name is given to this type of family? Now, Mr. and Mrs. Jones living with their three-year-old daughter would be a nuclear family. But based on the fact that they are sharing the home with Mrs. Jones's parents. It simply means, therefore, that this is an extended family, as Mrs. Jones's parents would be the grandparents. So remember now, once the nuclear family would have been extended to living with 
other relatives such as grandparents, uncle, aunties, cousins, that has given rise to a new family type, which should be the extended family. Number five, an individual's values may be best described as his or her ideas and beliefs used in decision making. So that would be D. Number six, which of the following is the least likely reason for a family member to assist in community work? That would be A, to define status. You would want to assist in, fam in community work to feel a sense of belonging to the community, to ensure survival of the community, to share experiences that may be passed on to others, but not necessarily to define status. Number seven, a goal may be defined as a. The end product towards which an individual directs an effort. Number 8. Which of the following should influence an individual's use of resources? The answer here would be D. 1, 2, and 3. Goals, the targets that we set out to achieve, and the standards, the um, level of quality that you want to achieve. Values, learned belief of what we consider to be worthwhile, important, and desirable, and therefore this influences the goals that are set, and so that will help in determining um, or deciding the decisions that are made, and automatically will influence how resources are used in order to achieve these goals. I can't make up my mind whether I should support the closure of the factory. On one hand, it is difficult to breathe as a result of the smoke, while on the other hand, the factory pays very good salaries. Number nine, the speaker's statement above suggests that there is a conflict of values. This is so because it is clear that the speaker values her health or the health of individuals, but she also values the money. And so she is questioning whether she supports the closure of the factory because the factory was bad for the health of the individuals in the community based on the fact that the smoke was being released from the factory, right? And at the other hand, the factory in itself was providing good salaries to the workers. Remember now that an individual can have more than one values, right? And there are times when these values will clash. They will have conflicts. And so that now will cause problems in you making decisions because of the fact that you have more than one value. So they will conflict each other. Number 10 and 11 relates to population study, which is no longer in the curriculum. However, let us go through them. Number 10, the scientific study of a country's population is referred to as D, demography. Which of the following is a method of population control? That will be D, tubal ligation. Number 12, the main role of a family council is to A, make decisions. Number 13, also relating to population control. The results of a census show that the population density of a country is high. This means that B. There is a large number of persons per square mile. Items 14 to 15 are based on the following information. Cassie, a Form 4 student, attends King's High School. Cassie joins a gang and is often suspended from school due to fights. Number 14. Which of the following terms best describes Cassie's lifestyle? Is it A, a cast out, B, criminal, C, social displaced, or D, juvenile delinquent? The answer is D, juvenile delinquent. Number 15. If Cassie does not change her current lifestyle, she is likely to 1. Become a burden to the state 2. Establish a criminal record 3. Put her life at risk the answer would be D, all of them. Number 16. Which of the following is least important for a preschooler's development? A, watching television programs. Number 17. Which of the following multi-mixes is most suitable for toddlers? Remember that a multi-mix principle is a principle that teaches you to plan meals that are balanced. 
If you should take a look at B, C, and D, you would recognize that those are not good mixes as B is showing just a staple and vegetable. C is showing a legume and all staples. And D is showing where there is food from animal and a staple. However, A is showing a food from animal, legume, vegetable, and a staple. Therefore, the answer would be A for number 17. Number 18. Which of the following factors must be considered when caring for a one-year-old toddler? Safety, education, and nutrition. And while caring for a one-year-old toddler, you should pay attention to all of those. Therefore, D would be the answer for number 18. Number 19. Which of the following characteristic best describes a typical three to six year old preschooler? A three to six year old preschooler has a vivid imagination, so you take that off, is quiet and obedient, display great curiosity. What would be the answer here? The answer would be B, has a vivid imagination and displays great curiosity. Number 20. Which of the following breakfast menus is best suited for an elderly person on a normal diet? The answer would be C, which reflects a normal medium breakfast with fruit, scrambled egg, toast, and milk. 21. The term work ethic is best defined as moral duty and commitment to work. 22. Prior to leaving sixth form, Lorna attended all the college fairs held at the university. Her main goal was most likely to D. Gather information on colleges and universities. Which of the following statements about health is accurate? The answer for number 23 would be C. Individuals function more effectively when they are healthy. Items 24 to 25 refer to the following scenario. Rhonda and her friend Judy, both medical students, were sent on an internship program during the August vacation. After two years, Rhonda began complaining of the long working hours and was very discourteous to some of the patients. After one week on the job, Rhonda did not return. Her friend Judy handled every emergency situation, followed directions, and looked forward to meeting the patients every day. Number 24. Which of the following characteristics of a good worker was lacking in Rhonda? The answer is A. Maturity. Number 25. Which of the following characteristics best describe the work ethic of Judy? The answer is diligence and enthusiasm. C. Number 26. The first step in the decision-making process is to B. Identify the problem. Number 27. A home manager can lighten home tasks by 1. Using labor-saving devices, sure. Assigning tasks to family members, sure. Using the correct tools and equipment, also sure. That would be D, 1, 2, and 3. Number 28. Susie is planning her birthday party. In which order should the following tasks be done? Susie should begin by preparing the guest list first, then... She should locate the venue, after which she would send out invitations and lastly, purchase the cake. Item 29 to 30. Refer to the following work simplification techniques. A. Clustering. B. Overlapping. C. Dovetailing. And D. Independent. In answering items 29 to 30, each option must be used once, more than once, or not at all. Which of the above techniques involve performing all related tasks at the same time? That would be C, dovetailing. And 30, which of the above techniques involve one job being a part of another? And that would be B, overlapping. Remember, dovetailing is mold like multitasking, where several tasks are going on at the same time until they're all completed and overlapping one task becomes a part of the other as they both require different levels of attention for example you're watching television and you're crocheting at the same time 
Item 31 to 32 refers to the following graph, which shows the amount of money spent by a family for a month. So if you look at the graph, you'll recognize that for snack, $100 is spent. For food, $50. Utilities, $25. Entertainment, $150. And for clothes, about $75 is spent. Now, number 31 asks, to which of the following guidelines does this family need to pay most attention? And I believe the answer should be C, identify long-term goals. In doing so, they would know what their long-term goals are and include savings in their budget and save towards these goals. Currently, they're not saving towards anything and they're making um, their desires a priority and they're spending a lot on things like clothing, entertainment, snack, food, utilities. Number 32, which area or areas of this family's expenditure should be given greater priority? And I believe A should be the answer, food. Number 33, which of the following is a variable expense in a budget? Among these that are given, we have utilities, mortgage, insurance, and loan payments. Therefore, A, utilities, would be a variable expense, as all the others are fixed expenses. Number 34, the most important reason for making a budget is to B, allow for wise consumer spending. C and D are also possible answers, but if it is that the family spends wisely, therefore it will automatically raise the family's standard of living and reduce financial conflicts within the family. Number 35. The total amount of income earned before deductions is referred to as B. Gross income. Net income would be after the deductions have been taken out. 36. A contract between a manufacturer and a consumer is referred to as a C. Warranty. 37. Which of the following are used by advertisers to promote their products? Cartoon characters, popular personalities, billboards. That would be D, which is 1, 2, and 3, all of them. Number 38. On the way home from school, John saw a pair of brand new sneakers on sale. He decided to purchase the sneakers with the money that should be used for paying his lesson fees. John's action may be regarded as impulse buying, which is B. Item 39 refers to the following scenario. A consumer ordered some books from a traveling salesman and was told that the books would cost $85. The salesman returned a week later and delivered the books to the consumer who signed for them. The salesman returned the following week and asked the consumer to pay a total of 14 installments of $10 each. The consumer protested. The consumer most likely protested because of the C. Incorrect information. Number 40. Sally bought a new watch which stopped working the next day. Which of the following consumers write, can she now exercise? The right to C. Redress. Number 41. A stain on a cream clot bag was successfully removed by applying lime juice and placing it in the sun. This stain was most likely caused by A. Rust. Number 42. Which of the following is not a method of water purification? That would be C. Conserving. Number 43. The rights to a purchased property is called the A. Title. Susan is just recovering from typhoid fever. Which of the following should she be mo most cautious about drinking? That would be B. Filtered river water. 45. Which of the following items may be used in the making of a homemade insecticide for roaches? The answer is B. Baking soda. 46. The most important guideline to remember when using a food mixer is to D. Follow the manufacturer's instructions. 
Items 47 to 48 refers to the following illustration. In, item, in answering items 47 to 48, each option may be used once, more than once, or not at all. Which of the following labeled areas may contribute to a scald? Number 47, scald. That would be B, where the steam is rising from the pot. 48, which of the above labeled areas may contribute to a burn? And that would be C, the pot handle. Number 49, which of the following guidelines is least appropriate for the safe use of a microwave? Would you unplug from outlet after use? Sure. Keep electric cord in good repair? Sure. Least appropriate would be C, to pull the cord to unplug the microwave. You would not pull the cord, but you will pull the plug. To store the microwave within easy reach would also be an appropriate safe practice. Therefore, C is the least appropriate for the safe use of the microwave. Number 50. The craft family used plastic bottles and other waste materials to make new artifacts for their upcoming community bazaar. This is known as A. Recycling. Number 51. Which of the following window treatments is most suitable for the glass window in a bedroom that faces the afternoon sunlight? And that would be C. Draw drapery. Number 52. Your white damask tablecloth was bitten by insects and has tiny holes in one corner. Which of the following could be used to demonstrate your knowledge of repairing? And that would be make a patchwork design in the corner of the tablecloth which is d item 53 refers to the following diagrams the diagrams show a cushion a toaster cover and a rug the correct term used to describe the group of articles above is a soft furnishings number 54 layout space and balance are all considered when b arranging furniture number 55 which of the following is not a responsibility of the waiter or waitress at a formal gathering and that would be a greeting guests at the door items 56 to 57 refers to the following invitation mr and mrs john henry request the pleasure of the company of mr and mrs daniel thomas to dinner at their residence, 14 Ruby Street, Konopia, on Saturday 3rd of March at 7 o'clock. RSVP. The letters RSVP on the invitation shown above indicates that D. A reply is expected from the guests. 57. The invitation is classified as A. Formal. 58. Which of the following are common to both formal and informal invitations? So, within a formal invitation and an informal invitation, these things would be common in A. Occasion, venue, date, and time. 59. A person lay motionless on the floor after a serious fall. What should be the first step when performing first aid? That would be D. Determine whether the victim is breathing. Item 60 refers to the following meal. Orange juice, cream of wheat with milk, scrambled eggs, toast. Which of the following place settings is most suitable for the meal above? The answer here would be C. As we are seeing the juice glass for the orange juice, we are seeing the cereal spoon for the cereal, the one knife and the fork for the scrambled egg and toast. We're also seeing the butter spreader for the toast. So all the appropriate utensils are placed at this cover for the meal that is outlined. There you have it. You will apply your content to reason out the responses, to work through the possible responses and eliminate and select the best suited reply to each question in the paper.